All right, welcome back to KM6LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio, reimagining radio in the information age. Hey, well, today we're talking about the Yesu 991. This is a great radio. It's been around a long time. It's a terrific design. Shack in the box, VHF, UHF, HF, everything. Perfect design. It's got some production flaws. You having trouble tuning your antenna with your 991? Let's fix it. This time on KM6 LYW Radio. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, you guys thought I wasn't going to get away with the bumper music because I'm in the KM6 LYW kitchen, nook, breakfast area, radio repair bench. That's what we'll call it here today. Hey, you know, I've had this for a while. I think I'm like the second hand owner on this and I was really having problems with this Yesu 991 antenna tuner. It would tune up and it looks like it was just fine and then when i go to transmit the swr was off the hook let's see if let's see if we can replicate that let's see if your your radio does this if it does i've got the fix for you we're going to show it to you okay here's the scenario you're doing a summits on the air you've got your yesu 991 here you're all hooked up the antenna's good it's resonant you're good to go you're going to be on 20 meters today so hey let's tune up our antenna by pressing this and you can see it's tuning up. This is the SWR meter right here. Less is always better. It looks like it got SWR of one to one. That's fantastic. We are ready to rock. This is KM6LYW radio failing testing. Uh, no, it didn't tune even though it looked like it did. Um, so there's a reason for that. We've got some bad ground references inside of this and it affects a lot of them. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and take this apart and if See what, uh, look for some production problems. There's some paint overspray, there's some lacquer overspray, um, there's some bad grounds in here. Um, this is an early production model, maybe it's fixed in later ones, but uh, you know, I checked this out uh, online. I spent a lot of time looking for to trying to figure out this problem, but uh, we finally fixed it, guys. I'm going to show you how to do this. Let me take this apart and show you the antenna tuner internals and some uh, some quick fixes. This is easy stuff. I mean, I'm going to give you a disclaimer, of course, but, you know, this is uh, probably best done by a radio tech, but if you're handy with electronics, and maybe your radio's out of warranty anyway, uh, this is the fix for the Yesu 991 antenna tuner. All right, there are a bunch of screws. First of all, turn this thing over. You got to take the kickstand off, two screws on the side, loosen the handle over here, and on the bottom, we will reveal the radio, and the antenna tuner's under here, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Pull the grounding off of this. That's the foreshadowing. This grounding thing, absolutely critical. In fact, what we're going to find out is this antenna tuner has an inherent problem with the ground reference. In fact, the chassis has a problem with the ground. The screws aren't grounded. The antenna tuner itself is not grounded. So let's uh, pull this up. All right. It's not for lack of screws. And there is the Yesu antenna tuner. Super cool. All right, so there's a couple of screws here. It's got one, two, three, four, I think five screws. And we're going to pull all those screws out. And we're going to be able to lift the antenna tuner out. So I'm going to start pulling these guys out. We're going to take a look at it. All right, all of the five screws are out. So we're going to gently remove this. Keep in mind there's some sticky pads in there. And the first thing we're going to look at is the bottom side of this. Now on your Yesu 991, and even the DX10, you'll notice that these grounding points, all of them have PCB lacquer all over them. So what I want you to do is gently, and not over the radio, sand each one of these little grounding points until they shine a bit. Um, you're gonna see some lacquer there. You might take some acetone and uh, rub it off there a little bit just to, to clean it up right at the very end. Uh, again, don't do it right over your radio. And just clean each one of those up. We need to get a better ground to the chassis here, and these are grounding points. I have no idea why Yesu Production covered each one of these points with lacquer, but they did, and that's, uh, that's something we need to change. All right, now everything's sanded. Let's start putting our screws back in, but before we do, I want you guys to go out and get what we call some crinkle washers. These are kind of like uh, star washers, or I don't know, what do you call these? Uh, Basically, it puts tension on the screw, and it'll put tension on those copper pads on the top 
of your antenna tuner. I guess the bottom because we're looking at the bottom of the radio. So let's put these crinkle washers on our screws and then go ahead and put them back into the antenna. And uh, maybe use this RF, remove the RF line, you know, to give you a little better access here. And I don't know, maybe clean up those little copper pads on that guy too before you put these screws back. So uh, to make sure those crinkle washers really have something to bite into. So make sure these guys are all tight here. Looking really good. That in there. Save yourself some trouble. Put some paper towel in all the little holes because those crinkle washers will run. And if you haven't already, get a magnet. Magnetize your screwdriver. That'll help too. That way you can pick out crinkle washers that have fallen in because you forgot to put in the paper towel. All right, so we got the five screws. I'm going to make sure they're all tight here. All right, so the antenna tuner is done. I'm really liking that. Um, this initially was like the solution and it kind of worked it helped it worked for a while um but it wasn't good enough every now and then i'd still get a bad tune it's like oh man we still got to figure out what's going on i was really looking at the uh mailing lists and there's some youtube videos out there look on youtube and see if you can come up with the guy who basically his solution was to to smash the radio while it wasn't tuned while it was tuning to see if he'd come up with a proper tune I don't know if I'd go that far, um, but another guy finally figured out the other half of the problem, and we'll, uh, that's actually on the side of the radio. It has to do with the case. All right, we've got the radio turned over. It's uh, right side up now. We're taking the top of the radio off this time, gently, and we see the speaker, just like that. And we put the top there. Now, looking at the sides of the radio, we're going to notice some... Uh, I don't know what you want to call them. Uh, RF grounding pads. Um, these aren't there by accident. Um, these are required, evidently. And it's really, um, they serve, they're kind of like braid wire to help the case become a really good ground. Uh, and, and that's the other half of this problem is this case isn't properly grounded either. It's not because there's anything wrong with these little RF bonding pads. It's the fact that when they went into production, you'll notice this nice black anodized spray paint got all over the areas where the grounding pads are. Um, all of this black paint. In fact, in, uh, in this case, you'll notice I've already sanded it. So again, take your piece of sandpaper, not over your radio, and sand the areas that touch those little grounding pads. I've got six there. I even went ahead and grounded these, or uh, sanded the, any extra uh, primer off of these holes down here as well, just to increase the overall grounds to the case of the radio. It's absolutely necessary. Once I did that, I started getting good tunes every single time on this Yesu. All right, we're all buttoned up. This is the moment of truth, guys. Let's see if we can tune up on this thing. Uh, we're on 20 meters. Turn the volume down a little bit. Let's press tune. It's trying to tune. Kind of like before. Okay, it has a tuning solution now. The real test is can we talk into it with no SWR? We don't want to see any line pop up here, so I'm going to test now. This is KM6 LYW radio testing, and I don't see any SWR. In fact, SWR is not even registering at all. Hey, we did it. We fixed an antenna tuner on a Yesu 991. All right, we're back in the shack here. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Lima Zulu 7 Sierra Tango. He fixed this. He's the one who figured all of this out. Um, it was a collaboration of a lot of people, uh, really a product of frustration. Um, in fact, you'll see his Yesu here um, actually has some extra bonding material. So it's probably a newer model than mine. It doesn't just have these uh, six or seven pads around it. And of course, he noticed the overspray on the case, which I think was ultimately the fix. And he's got all that sanded and lots of good bonding all over the place so it is totally working so i wanted to thank the patrons of the channel um you guys are rocking it you guys make all of this possible um so if you've got a yesu 991 the best thing you can get for it once your antenna tuner works is the digipi sd card image um it take a raspberry pi get the sd card image put it in here you hook it up to your radio and it gives you access to all of the data modes that we talk about on this channel and makes them all accessible via your web browser or your tablet uh, any wi-fi device really so it's really kind of cool when you're doing summits on the air and of course it works great with the yesu 
Su991. Um, again, this is all the build instructions. It goes to patrons of the channel. You can build a big one. You can build a little one. Uh, it has all the APRS capabilities, FT8. Um, it's got a BBS node. Um, it's got a tracker. as a total web interface. Anyways, it makes amateur radio data modes really accessible and easy so you don't have to be like a linux screw to make this work uh patrons of the channel just get a copy of the sd card and put it in the raspberry pi hook it up and start rocking digital modes on your digipi hey guys thank you for hanging out with me um my name is craig amateur radio call sign km6lyw i'm in california and i am clear <laughs>